Hey everybody, Raisha here again. I have a box opening today. Um, it's been a long time since I've done one of these, but um, since I've been trying to get back into doing videos again, I thought I should. So, here I've got a box. Um, this is from Lume Doll, a total impulse purchase. Um, she posted on her Facebook page the other day that um, she's getting ready to go on hiatus. Uh, through the summer and that when she returns she's probably discontinuing several of the one sixth sculpt one sixth sculpts um, and then also that she had uh, a bunch of dolls in stock and they were all 10% off so there were the so there were the magic words in stock and on sale so yeah I couldn't resist so Let's open them up. Um, I ended up picking out the uh, one sixth uh, Kiran, Kiri, however you say it. Um, it's a male, uh, and they had him in stock. Well, in a bunch of colors actually, but I um, got the ebony skin, which I'm real excited to see. Um, I really love dolls with um, dark tan skin. I have quite a few of them actually. Um, but they're all from Resin Soul, so it'll be interesting to see um, a tan from another company. So just a regular box full of peanuts. Should have gotten somewhere to throw them. I guess I'll throw them on the floor and my cat will have a heyday. <laughs> there you go, Rupert. He's hanging out around my feet. Ooh, there's lots of peanuts. Okay, and then in here. Alright, that's it there. So, comes in a nice little white bag. I don't think it focuses when I get close, but it just says Lume. And get him out! Uh, I don't have a name or a character or anything for him yet. Um, like I said, it was a complete impulse buy, and um, I actually I just ordered him like two days ago. And he's here already, so that's awesome. Super fast shipping. Um, a little card in here, just like a business card, and oh, here we go. Um, certificate of authenticity in this envelope. If I can get it out. Um, boy, it's really stuck in there. There we go. Um, just like another business card. Um, just has his name and date of purchase, certificate number, and the artist's signature. So that's cool. I don't actually have. I think I only have like maybe one other doll that has a certificate of authenticity. Um, most of my dolls are uh, resin sole. Um, I've got a couple of Miro doll bodies, uh, doll chateau, just the head. So, yeah, I don't know if doll chateau has certificates of authenticity, but resin sole doesn't. Um, so, anyways, it's kind of cool. All right, bubble wrap, mummy. You can see a lovely color right through the package here. Scissors. Oh, I love his size. Um, he is gonna be paired up with Paloma, who I should have grabbed. She's over there. I'm gonna have to run off camera here for a second. She is a uh, one. Oh no. Do that later. Oh my. I should have have a table here or anything to be doing this on. Oh, I like the feel of the resin. It's got some more tooth to it. It's not like super smooth um, like resin sole. Um, yeah, it's got kind of an interesting texture. Hands. It's hands seem really stubby actually. They look kind of 
to short, very short. His pinky is very short. Um, these hands look like they belong on a much smaller doll. Uh, I don't know, the size, you know, like width isn't bad, but um, the, the fingers are just really short. Like, he definitely couldn't be a pianist. <laughs> um, oh, he's got split toes, so he could wear, like, sandals. I didn't, didn't know that. That's cute detail. Not that I'll probably ever have him wear sandals, but... But he could! And I don't have any dolls that could, so that's kind of cool. Sorry, just checking them all out. I haven't had a... Like I said, I don't have any... Um, mummy dolls. Can you see that? Um, and I do have... Uh, one of their head from Lume Doll, um, but this is the first time I've seen one of their bodies, so I'm just checking them all out. Um, actually, the he's single jointed, um, and actually he's built pretty much the same, I would say, as Resin Soul's single jointed bodies. Um, it's a nice little catch on the back of the knee here. Um, Keeps him sturdy, straight legged. Um, but otherwise, looks a lot like this torso joint here is a lot like the old single jointed resin sole bodies. Yeah, otherwise, his jointing looks pretty much just the same. Um, Alright, let's check out his face. Ooh, he's a good looking fellow. Um, I decided on this sculpt in particular um, because I knew I, I knew I wanted the the ebony skin, and um, I thought his features. I'll, I'll stick some pictures on the end here. My camera, I can't you know, stick them up here, and it doesn't refocus. Just blurry. So, I don't know. Um, I'll just stick some pictures on the end so you can um, see him better. But his head is quite small. Um, a little smaller than Paloma, but I think they'll look alright together. His eyes are much smaller than hers. I might mod them open just a little bit more. Gorgeous eyes. His head cap doesn't want to stay on. There's just a magnet on one end, and um, and on the back side, there's actually a little bit of eye putty that she's got on there, holding that in place. Um, so he does have seams, um, which I really hate. I just can't stand seams on dolls. I know a lot of people have them and are fine with them, but they drive me nuts. So I might tr try to, ooh, nice bendy, might try to do something about that. I can see um, they have sanded um, probably the gateways here at the shoulder, and there's definitely some discoloration from the sanding there. Um, so I'll probably start with that point that's already sanded and just try some really um, finer grades of sandpaper and see if I can kind of even that out and if that works well then I will do him all over. But he is overall quite lovely uh, and I'm just gonna grab Paloma real quick and put them together. Okay actually before Paloma here real quick I've got um, Drew. She just lost a shoe. Um, here's Drew. She is, um, well, this is a resin sole, um, this is a resin sole bow body, actually, the male body that's been modded to be a girl. Um, and I've had good success with sanding, uh, resin soles, 
um, dark tan, so we'll see how that goes on Lume doll. Um, uh, anyways, I was just gonna show the colors real quick. Maybe size. Um, this uh, head is um, Sleeping Elf Mina, large Mina. So about the same height, but um, definitely very different proportion. Um, the heads are completely different sizes. Um, the body alone is much taller. Get their feet lined up here. Um, but since he's got such a tiny head, he's about the same size as her anyways. But um, color-wise, uh, the Lume doll is much redder. Actually, he didn't look all that red before, but now that I'm holding it next to Drew here, uh, he actually looks super red. Kind of purpley red. So anyways, it's Drew, dark tan. So now I've got Paloma. She's my uh, Limwa to you, Sarah. And this new gentleman is going to be her man. Um, she's pretty petite next to him, but um, I think it works. I think she's just like a, she's just petite. Um, yeah. Her head, uh, actually, her head, I was thinking her head looked a little bigger, but it doesn't. Her head's definitely smaller. His is actually bigger, uh, very proportionally, um, you know, to the size of his body. Uh, it looks, kind of looks just right with her, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, and her hands are so petite that his short, stubby hands don't look so awkward. Um, his eyes, though, are much smaller than hers, so I am probably will go in there and try to mod his eyes open just a little bit. Um, I do like the small eyes, very natural looking, but I think um, you know, if I open them just a little bit that he's going to match with her a lot better. So um, I've got no clothes or anything for him yet. Like I said, I just bought him two days ago and here he is already. Uh, so super fast. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, so he's lovely. I'm happy with him and uh, I will have to find him some clothes and get some pictures taken here with Paloma. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.